Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in drum lessons, a cool Facebook group, or some awesome eight-week online drum set courses, all that info is in the text box below. Today we're going to be checking out Eric Moore. This is a solo that's pretty cool, so let's see what's going to happen here. Check this guy out. Here we go. That's so cool sounding. Wow. Love that unison stuff. Nice. Love the unison, my singles. Cool. Kind of a Tony thing there, Tony ones. Splashy hi hat, unison. Double bass, that was cool. Double strokes on top with single on the bottom. Oh, one handed roll. Johnny Rab, Jojo Mare, kind of off the rim. I believe Kenwood Denard was one of the very first drummers that was caught doing that. He could play keyboards, so nice. I like how he's moving the snare from the center to the edge for those soft curl strokes. Love it. Nice. Flam accents and those are the blush to flam drags. Nice. Little funk shuffle. Cut. Hats, two snares. Nice. Back to 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 back <laughs> yeah. All right, look at that. That was nice. Right singles, fanning, Tony stuff. Yes. Crossovers. Nice. Two up, two down. Love it. <laughs> oh, those are so cool. Double strokes off the 
So I'll grab this and I'll do that. <coughs> Doubles. Push pull. That was very cool. Is there more? Nope, that's it. Damn, that was awesome. Oh, loved it, loved it. Some very, very cool stuff going on there. Almost wanted to pause it. A lot of cool hand foot stuff going on. Like the old school part where you're doing boom, 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 and then you can really see his facility with his flying singles around the kit. Nicely tuned drums, good uh, repetition too. He was playing these nice little pitches. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And he was kind of recurring theme with that, some of the patterns. Obviously, there was some um, some structure to this in terms of phrasing, changing feels from the original feel to the funk shuffle, to some of the other feels, a bit of modulation over the top. Certainly lots of cool polyrhythmic stuff. Great player. Good God. Really enjoyed his playing. Uh, great sounding drums. Love that gong bass drum at the beginning. So very interesting and strong match grip player. There's definitely a difference between the kit setups of a lot of match grip players and traditional grip players. I started matched and then have adopted traditional as my primary grip. And I love them both. I actually play with them both quite a lot. So having a kit set up to be able to accommodate those two grips is kind of tough to do them both exactly right, but you can get it pretty much to where it works really well. Vinny Collier being probably one of the prime examples he goes back and forth between matched and traditional grip quite a lot. So anyways, Eric Moore was fantastic. I didn't give you too many details. There's some cool flam work, some unison stuff. It'd be one of those souls where if you're really interested in learning how to play like this guy and you were one of my students, we would take some time and we would slow motion this. You might even actually book me for some time to analyze the solo and then transcribe some things and figure it out and then we could get together for a lesson, and then I could show you exactly what some of these drummers are doing. So I have that capability of playing for almost 48 years now, going through over 50 books. Just to know quite a bit here that I can share with you, and that's what I love to do is help other drummers. So reach out to me if you want any help learning how to play like these great players, because that's what I do, is teach people how to play like great players. All right. Again, subscribe, share, Look at my classes, and I'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Take care, and have a great day. Bye-bye.